Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Factoring by grouping. Factoring four term polynomials. So we're going to factor here the following four term polynomials. And we know that we have four terms. Here's one term separated by an addition or subtraction. Second term followed by an addition subtraction. Third term followed by an addition subtraction. And a final term. So we have here a four term polynomial. When factoring four term polynomials, we first want to find a common factor. Okay. Now, the common factor is the first step to factoring any type of polynomial, whether we have two terms, three terms, four terms, five terms, etc., etc. Okay. So now we're looking at four terms. So it's one of the types of polynomials. First step, find a common factor. So what we want to do is we want to see is there a number and a letter or letters that we can remove from each one of these terms. And if you look closely, you'll find out that none of them can be factored any further. So we cannot factor out a common factor. So if we cannot find a common factor, we try to factor by grouping. And this factor by grouping we use whenever we have a four-term polynomial. So let's factor the following four-term polynomial. Step one, when factoring by grouping, we group the first two terms and then the last two terms. Okay, so here are the first two terms, the last two terms. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that make sure that you group terms that contain a common factor within each group. So within this group here, you want to make sure that there is some kind of a common factor in this group. You want to make sure that within this group, there is a separate common factor. If not, okay, if there is no common factor, then what I want you to do is rearrange the terms to find a common factor. Okay? But because there is one um, in all these, um, in these four term polynomials, there is no need to rearrange the, um, the actual expression. Factor the following four term polynomial. We have grouped the terms so that they both have a common factor within each group. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find a common factor within each group. It may or may not necessarily be the same. So when I'm asking you to find a common factor, I'm asking for you to find a common number that can be removed from these two terms, that is the same, and letters that I can take out from each group. So now, sometimes we might be able to take out a letter and a number, sometimes just a letter, sometimes just a number. Okay, so we're going to find a common factor from each group. So in this first group, we can factor out a 2 and an x, so 2x. From our next group, right here, we are trying to find what we can factor from within this new group. And that new group here can be fa have a, a, a common factor of 3y. So we can remove a 3 and a y from the second group. And notice how we said they may or may not necessarily be the same. And in this situation, they are not the same. Now. We have found our common factors from each group. So step three says, factor out your common factor from each group. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this first group and we're going to factor out a 2x from this group. From this group here, we are going to factor out a 3y. So here it is, our next set of brackets. So we have factor, factored out 2x from this group, and we have 
an open set of brackets. We factored out a positive 3y, so the sign would be positive 3y there, and we open up another set of brackets. So in the set of brackets, what we're going to do is we are going to pretty much write what is left over after we have factored out our 2x from this term here and our 3y from that term. And we get 3x minus 5 when we factored out a 2x from this term. And when we factor out this 3y from this term here, we get 3x minus 5. So here, this is the most important hint. Okay, and now let's note the following. If you have factored correctly, both sets of brackets will be identical. If not, double check that you found or that you have found the greatest common factor. If you have not found the greatest common factor from each group, and, you, and it means that you, these sets of brackets were not exactly identical to one another because that is the key to factoring by grouping. You want to get these two sets of brackets to be exactly identical. We have found our group. We have grouped our, our, our four-term polynomial into the two groups. We have found the common factor from within each group and we have factored that out and gotten the same set of brackets. So now step number four mean asks to factor out the common factor. And the common factor, believe it or not, with all these terms that we have, we have really, this is one term. This here is another term. So this term here is separated by this addition. Okay, so we have one term, and here is our second term. So in actuality, what we have here, this is a binomial believe it or not. With all these terms that we have here, these are really, we have two main terms. So what we want to do is we want to find a common factor from term number one that we have the same in term number two. And that is pretty much what's in the brackets. And as we said, which are the bracketed terms. So what we have here in the brackets is the common factor, okay, is the common factor in both of these terms. Okay. So those are what are the common terms. And now factor it out and then open up a new set of brackets and write out the remaining terms as a binomial. So what does that mean? We're going to factor out 3x minus 5. We're going to open up a new set of brackets. Okay, so let's get rid of all this writing. We factored out the 3x minus 5, and what we're going to put in the, bra in the second set of brackets are those remaining terms. So we had this 2x left over, and we had this positive 3y, and what we're going to do is we're going to put those together, and those are going to make up the second set of binomials, because in order to get this expression here, we need to multiply okay, two sets of binomials, which means we are doing the FOIL method. First, outer, inner, with the last. Here is how we started. We started with factoring a four-term polynomial. The next step was to, after grouping the first group, and then grouping the second two, or the last two uh, terms. Then we found the common factor, and the common factor is 2x here, positive 3y in the second group. Once we have factored that, then within the brackets, we want to make sure that those two brackets are identical. We factor out what was identical, and we write it down in a set of brackets. So that's our first binomial. And we're going to open up a new set of brackets here, and we're going to write in whatever was left out, whatever was left over once we have factored out the 3x minus 5. 